Okay, today we're going to be looking at a uh, little piece of software I just wrote. Um, and if you go to filmsbychris.com, my website, uh, I recently redid it. Uh, you'll want to click on software and you'll have three options, GitHub scripts or notes. In this case, we're going to GitHub. And that'll bring you straight to my repositories. And you can click on repositories here. And you'll want to find the one that says multi-timer for this software. Uh, if it's not at the top, it's at the top because I just recently worked on it. But if you just type in timer, it should narrow down the list. You'll click on that and it will have the source code there, which you can download, a little bit of a description, and then a link to see the code live. So now the point of this software is, in this scenario, uh, you're, I came up with this idea of writing the software because at work we have a physical test and one of the tests is running two miles and we line up a handful of people and they all run two miles and we have to clock each person's time. But since they're all starting at the same time, it'd be easy to you know, have an ongoing list that all starts and we can log their times. So basically, let's say we type in a name, we type in another name, let's have a couple of names. Okay, so we've entered everyone who's lined up and ready to start running, and then they start running, we click start. And you'll see that the time is going here and we have our total time and then each person has their own individual time which is based on that start time and when someone crosses the finish line you click their name and it pauses their time so they're locked in at that time so very easy to log people's times and even after you start let's say you had people lined up but you didn't have all the names typed in you can actually start the timer and then add the names and we'll calculate from the time that you went so let's add in another name and Laura here and you can see as soon as I add her her time is synced up with everybody else's so you can start everybody and then add in their names and again you can lock in their names like so alternating colors so it's easy to find on the line and you can hit clear to clear and reset everything and of course there's a link at the bottom to get the source code which would bring you back to my github page Okay, so let's have a look at this actually running on a mobile device. Okay, here's the same application running on my phone. I've already put in a few names uh, just to get us started, but again, you just click in there and I can say like uh, a name that I haven't used yet and click add name and then you have the list of names. I can click start and it starts again the timer, the full timer at the top and then the synchronized timing at the bottom. And again, you can click someone's name to lock them in at their times. Now at this point on a mobile device after going to the link if you're going to use this you're probably going to want to click here and add to home screen. Uh, this is using Chrome browser. Uh, here it will ask you what you want to name the icon and it gives you an icon. By default it's called multi-timer. We'll click add and if we go to my home screen now we have a little icon with the clock timer icon that I made and you click that and it brings you to the application. Now I want to show you something here. I'm not going I'm going to go like this and I'm actually going to close my browser windows and I'm going to reboot my phone. Okay. So I'm completely shutting down my phone and restarting it here. Uh, like I said I'm not completely shutting it down, but I'm rebooting my phone here. And I'm doing this for a reason uh, because a lot of people have a, a misconception about um, web apps. I hate calling them that, but pro programs written in HTML5 or HTML, and uh, that is that you need an internet connection uh, for these programs to run, uh, which is not true. You just need an internet connection to load them up, which is true with pretty much any app or program you're going to run on your phone. You're going to need an internet connection to install them. So just going to the link will load this program on your phone. Uh, it will cache it all and then uh, you can also again add the icon to the desktop to make it easy to get to. So once uh, that is done you're good to go for offline mode. So let me go ahead and type in my super secret password here. Okay so I'll go to my desktop here and again I'll click on the icon there and we'll load it up and I also use a timing uh, method that you can see the timer is still going we didn't lose any time it's keeping accurate time so you can shut the phone off once you start the timer you have the names in you can shut the phone off 
you can close the application. When you come back into it, it's still going to have the accurate times. It has the time save that you've locked in, and I can lock in other times as well. Uh, again, I also want to show you, so that's restarting the phone. I'm going to close my browser there, so it's closed. I'm going to turn off my Wi-Fi, and I'm going to turn off my cellular data. So I have no internet connection whatsoever right now, but since I've already run the program once, it's cached, I can click the icon there, and you can see that the application loads and is running again with the accurate times. I can refresh it, and it's still working, keeping again the accurate time. I can say clear, clear that all out, and start over again. And again, I can add in names here like Bob. And you can see Bob is going now. So. Once the, the application is loaded once, it's cached on your device, you're good to go, you don't need an internet connection, uh, you can restart your device. Again, it's calculating the time based on the time you start the timer. That's how you can shut down the phone and still be keeping an accurate time because it's not a clock that's constantly ticking. There's a clock that's updating you to the display, but as far as the time, it's calculating the time uh, that you started to the current time, and that's how it's getting this number here. And it's a more accurate way to keep uh, time measurements. And again, you can close the application, you can restart your phone. It's all stored locally, all the names you put in until you clear them out, all stored locally on your device. So uh, that is it. And uh, I hope you enjoy this. Please visit my Wilms, uh, my Wilms site, my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with the K. There should be a link in the description. Also, hopefully, remember to put a link to the application and the source code in the description. If not, again, you can go to filmsbychris.com, go to the software section, and grab this off my GitHub account. It's called Multi Timer. Thanks for watching, and I hope that you have a great day. Okay, this is an introduction to filmsbychris.com. I'm Chris, that's Chris the K. That's me right there. My daughter Ember, and my wife Jennifer. We pretty much live in the swamps of Florida. I'm a firefighter by day, as well as by night. We work long hours. But that's not why you're here. You're here about the videos I put up on YouTube. These videos are mainly about computers and programming, which means most of my videos look something like this. And if that's what you're interested in, great. If not, that's all right. I do videos on other topics too, such as video editing, special effects, photo editing, 3D design, and music creation. If you are one of my viewers and you enjoy my videos, my Patreon page is a place where you can go to help support my videos. So I ask that you take the time to go to my Patreon page and look at the different levels of rewards you can receive for different levels of backing. There should be a link in the description of this video if you are watching it on YouTube. Otherwise, you can visit patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. And I thank you for your time and your support. Have a great day.